Hey, what's up? How y'all doing out there? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you everywhere. But under your feet with this one, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what time it is. No bias talk, no racism. This off the, you know, subject of what's going on in the world of boxing. The day I was watching Floyd Mayweather Sr. versus Sugar Ray Leonard last night. And you know, uh, as I was watching it, you know, I was thinking about Floyd Mayweather Sr. You know, uh, I watched uh, video as the video was going off. The guy was talking about the fight and what Floyd Mayweather Senior had been through in the past and things like that. Now, I give a lot of credit to fathers like Bill Hain, even though we had our dearest. So shout out to Bill Hain, a stand-up guy, stand-up father, great father. But it's one father we have all forgotten about, and he needs to get his standing ovation, man. This man has made a dynasty in his family, man, and got it to the point where everybody in his family is situated because of him. Uh, he didn't come out on the top end of everything in the sport of boxing, but he established something that that was great. He 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 had a son that ended up being the, arguably the best fighter of all time. So I think people need to sit back and just, you know, think about it and say to Floyd Mayweather Sr., especially his family members, that thank God the day you were born because Floyd Mayweather Sr. was the first person in his family, from what I understand, to start boxing. Floyd Mayweather Sr. didn't have a trainer when he started boxing. They were kids. Him and, him and Roger used to fight in the street. But by Sr. being the oldest, you know, of course he went out there and from what his mom say, you know, we didn't seen the videos that Sr. used to be out there cracking heads in the streets. So Sr. been out there, you know what I'm saying? So respect to Sr. And I want to give a shout out to Senior for, this, Senior for this video. One, for being a great father and being a great uh, a great person to his family to set, have them sit in the situation that they have sit in today. And the main point of me making this video is that, uh, you know, Roger Mayweather, you know, even though him and Floyd Mayweather Sr. had their differences, you know, throughout their lives, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is the person that made Roger Mayweather a champion. Because think about it. Floyd Mayweather Sr. went to the professional first, and even when he fought Sugar Ray Leonard, at, uh, he, wa he wasn't at six, uh, 30 and 0 and 26 and 0. I think Floyd Mayweather Sr. was like 15, 17 and 0. So he fought Sugar Ray Leonard early in his career. And he did a good job, you know, going against Sugar Ray Leonard, but Sugar Ray Len Leonard ended up adapting to Floyd Mayweather Sr. And I seen one of the things that was a problem with Floyd Mayweather Sr. is he had no power, and he wasn't a fighter who could adapt which is why he made his son be so great. And Floyd Mayweather used to say himself, his daddy used to put his hands on him, check him, you know, by hitting on him, making sure he was perfect and doing everything right. That's what made Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. The fact that he had a father who seen and knew the streets and the hardness of life and he instilled in his son and made his son a billion dollar man. He made his brothers champions. Roger Mayweather, a champion. Roger never admitted that. Now, I'm sure I may be wrong, but in my mind, by Floyd Mayweather Sr. being the older brother, he did teach Roger things. He did show Roger things. He was the one who was a professional first. So, of course, he, he laid down and showed Roger things and stuff like that. Now, Roger never said that. But at this point, people should understand that Floyd Mayweather Sr. is the reason their whole entire family. The whole entire family of the Mayweathers are where they are today, and this man deserves a standing ovation going through what he done been through, you know, being shot, uh, didn't make it to the status of where his son is, his brother was. Still, this man does not hold anything against Floyd Mayweather Jr. for the things that has happened against him, which you've seen in the Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight. Floyd and his dad had disagreements throughout their life, this father and son thing. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Always, will always feel like Floyd Mayweather is his son. You know, that's the way it's going to be. But if you remember the Pacquiao fight that night, when Floyd Mayweather was in that ring, he was sitting on that stool. He said, Dad, he said, I remember everything you taught me. He said, I thank you for everything you taught me. Because at that moment when Floyd knew at the end of that fight he was going to be possibly the greatest fighter of all time, he knew that. And he had to thank the man that made him the greatest fighter of all time. I want to give a major shout-out to Floyd Mayweather Sr. I mean, to have fathers like that, you know, people going to criticize, you know, or say you know, uh, fathers that put their hands on their children, you know, uh, uh, wrong and this, that, and that. Now, you don't abuse your children, you, but to a certain point, I'm going to give you examples. 
Joe Jackson used to abuse Michael Jackson, whoop them, made him a millionaire. Floyd Mayweather Sr. used to hit Floyd Mayweather and make him perfect in the ring, not make mistakes. Billionaire. Sometimes being a hard father on your child can push them to the limit, especially if you are in their life. Now, being an asshole to your child don't help at all. But if you got some type of pedigree, some type of uh, some type of craft that you can teach a child or push a child to make them great, then so be it. Until Floyd Mayweather Sr., you deserve your credibility, my brother. You have made your family millionaires. Your families will never have to worry again because you chose to run outside one day and fight. And I salute you for that too, my brother. Now also, I gotta talk about the Philly Shell defense because I seen how you beat the Philly Shell defense, which nobody never really tried this on Floyd Mayweather. One, jabs to the body, straight jabs like Floyd, straight jabs to the body and hooking around this arm. Sugar Ray Leonard was seeing that he couldn't really hit Floyd Mayweather Sr. in the fight. So what Sugar Ray did, he started saying, and Floyd Mayweather had a great jab. He's this, you supposed, I see where Floyd Mayweather get it from. When Floyd throw his jab, Floyd don't just throw his jab. Floyd cover his chin. You, you know Floyd go, he cover his chin. That's for, for perfection from his father, y'all. That's straight perfection from his father. But Sugar Ray Leonard realized his jab is too good. Uh, his Philly shell is too tight, I really can't hit him. So Sugar Ray, after like the third, fourth round, he had to sit there and like, uh, how can I get him to open up? Jab to the body, jab to the body, jab to the body, come around with the right hand to the body. On the, the elbow, hitting the kidney, the backside. This will cause Floyd Mayweather, when he throw this shot, to turn a little bit. Sugar Ray Leonard will throw a jab, Floyd Mayweather lean back, here comes Sugar Ray with a right hand land. Sugar Ray is a small fighter. Sugar Ray adapted in the ring that night against Floyd Mayweather Sr. Uh, the only, I think if Floyd Mayweather Sr. would have had punching power, it would have changed a lot. But Floyd Mayweather Sr. seemed like that he wouldn't stay on his feet or ground his feet. And when he would throw his flurs, he was very fast-handed, just like Floyd Mayweather. And they fight exactly the same, but you know, with the knowledge of what Floyd Mayweather father gave him and his own knowledge of being in the ring and, and fighting himself, he, he came up with his bag of tricks. He came up with his pool counter. Uh, he elevated what his father taught him and he became great himself. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Roger Mayweather learned from, from his brother, Floyd Mayweather Sr. He elevated, became great. Also Jeff. So even though people may think that Floyd Mayweather is the king dynasty of his family, it is not Floyd Mayweather Jr. It is Floyd Mayweather Sr. He created the dynasty. He started it all. He was the one out there boxing first. He taught Roger. Roger taught kids in the, in the streets. They, uh, Roger probably taught Jeff or shit. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. probably taught all of them. I believe he taught all of them. Roger too. And then it goes to the credibility. Let me say this about the credibility. Because people always want to talk about Roger Mayweather train, train in Floyd Mayweather and his dad is trained in Floyd Mayweather. Let me tell y'all something. No disrespect to uh, Mr. Roger Mayweather, rest his soul. Floyd Mayweather Sr. taught Floyd Mayweather everything. Roger just came in like a, a Derrick James. That's basically what Roger was, no disrespect. He already had the skills and the talent and the mindset to do what, what he was going to do. His dad taught him since a child. So everybody who want to argue and say, oh, Roger taught him this and Roger's the reason. And even Roger said that, you know, but that was doing turmoil with the family, that he's the reason Floyd is at. Well, that's not true. You didn't train him from ground up. You didn't make Floyd be perfect. You didn't make Floyd be the most defensive fighter of all time. You didn't chastise Floyd when he made a mistake, hit him, smack him when he made a mistake. That was his father. So to all credibility goes to Floyd Mayweather Sr. That's why when they will argue, Floyd Mayweather Sr., he was like, Roger ain't showed you, Roger ain't did, cause he know, nigga, I'm the one got you out that cradle, nigga, had you punching on them dough knobs when you was little. You was with me. I trained you up until, until uh, you was about six, well, when Floyd, uh, before he went to jail. That was all Floyd Mayweather Sr., not Roger. And take nothing away from Roger, Roger did his part too. Roger, uh, from him being the champion himself, he probably, you know, sprinkle some seasoning on Floyd for him to be the fighter that he is today. But other than that, all credibility goes to Floyd Mayweather Sr. He's the man. He had the master plan. I know he probably didn't intend for it to 
move the way he did, but I'm happy, and I'm sure he is happy, that it ended up that way, that his whole family is straight from this situation, from him wanting to box, from him of his love of the sport. So I'm gonna do it if don't nobody else do it. Me being a person who uh, wish, well, I grew up with my father, we don't have a good relationship. He never taught me nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? For, for men like that, Devin Haney, father, Bill Haney, and Floyd Mayweather Sr., um, David Benavidez, um, David Benavidez, I mean, David Benavidez, no father, and all the fathers, Kenny Porter, uh, even though I don't like what Kenny Porter said one time about people, uh, he was mad because people were saying his son was ducking Spence. And he basically uh, dogged the uh, fans of boxing saying, oh, half of them people talking can't afford tickets. But at the same time, I'm still gonna give you a respect because you are a father and you stood by your son's side. And now your son is a millionaire. So to these fathers out here, Floyd Mayweather Sr., we need more like you guys. I wish we had more like you. I thank y'all. And that's all it's gonna be for this video, man. I thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. Once again, if you wanna show love on the channel, it will be in the comments of this video. And I just had to make this video because I told y'all I love boxing. Uh, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I don't know about purses. I don't know about the, all the politics, but when it comes to fighting, cause I, I can throw them hands too, man. <laughs> I can throw them things too. Uh, I, I mimicked it, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't box, I had to mimic it. When I was little, I had the helmets, all that, but uh, I just thank y'all for tuning in most of all. I would like to thank everybody for showing support and stay tuned. I'm gonna keep the videos coming, I'm out.